Good afternoon everyone, it's your girl Chloe Yasmin, back in the co with another video and in today's video your girl is gonna be vlogging. Y'all see me in a little bit of a different setting today um, because last night randomly, y'all know how big my bed is and how tiny I am, last night I changed my bedding. Now am I the only one that like piles a bunch of like stuff on my bed to where I sleep on one side of my bed because the other side has like snacks, books, etc etc. So I washed my bedding last night meaning that I clear off my bed. I woke up in the middle of my sleep, I looked at the end of the bed. I said, wait a minute, girl, I could sleep anywhere I want to in this bed. We're breaking the rules. I'm about to start enjoying this life. I put my pillow right here, and I slept right there, girl, and I had some amazing sleep. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So, since I slept here, y'all know I got my little morning encouragement right here as well. Wherever I wake up, I do my morning encouragement at. I really should be going out to my living room and enjoying my living room, but I just don't. I just get up and get it done right where I'm at. So, since I'm right here with my little pillow, I had like a long FaceTime call with my mom. I love waking up and talking to my mom. She's like my best friend. The cool thing about us is that we're so much alike that if she's going through something, I can tell and I can like speak on it because we're so much alike. Or if I'm going through something, she knows and she can speak on it and help me as well so we kind of just like we really balance each other out we're really like best friends it's honestly amazing but um and mom, it's so funny because my mom always told me girl i can't wait till you get grown so i can just be your friend she's still gonna be mama at the end of the day but just be able to be more of like friend like you know not too friendly baby you already know respect is there but just being able to like talk to her like yeah girl anyway literally all of that stemmed for me trying to tell you guys that i'm in like a different setting and that i got to do my well i did my morning encouragement and my time with god um right here which is actually a lot more fun because i feel like i have so much more space i mean let me show y'all here's my little space but this morning i woke up and i was looking in my closet and i'm so ashamed of how it looks you guys it's so bad i can't even get to most of my clothes so i started to get like a little bit of folding done just to see if i really felt like getting this dang closet done you guys and i have no light in here literally the light is out it's not working anymore so i have like no light so i have to go ahead and put on the ring light but also, am I the only one that does not like maintenance men coming in their apartment? Like, I just do not. Like, why can't we have, like, some maintenance women or something? Like, girl, I'm just not with the whole maintenance man thing. I don't like it. Especially since I live by myself, it just makes me mad uncomfortable. But this dang closet has been stressing me out so bad, you guys. Like, so, 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 so bad. And I have not been taking care of it. I never clean this dang closet. I just throw clothes in there, throw clothes in there. So... I got up this morning and started to fold a couple of items that were in there and it kind of motivated me to get the rest of it done because it was like, it used to be way higher, but these clothes made a huge difference. So I'm going into today with the I can attitude because the other day I was reading this um, Authentically Uniquely You book and Joyce Meyer was just talking about the power of I can. Joyce said that she was speaking with her mom and her mom admitted that she felt like she could not take care of her and her brother by herself and that is why she stayed with the dad that was sexually abusing her. She said, but what if my mom had the attitude I can get out of this relationship and I can take care of my children and had faith in Christ just how different things would have went so today I'm gonna have the I can attitude going into my day that I can get this dang closet done I have been procrastinating it for the longest time but I know that when I get it done I'm gonna feel so good honestly I I didn't even tell Jordan this morning when I was on the phone with him that I'm going to get that closet clean because he's been wanting to help me with it, but I'm not going to tell him because I don't want him to help me. And he's going to be so mad when he sees it clean because I did it all by myself. He always asks me like, why don't you just let me help you? Like, what's the big deal? He always has to like sneak and help me with things because I don't know what it is. I think over time I'll get over it, but I just like doing things on my own. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I have like so much more space over here, except for the fact that I piled a bunch of clothes right here. <laughs> anyway, so like I was saying, I had my morning encouragement. I got to talk to my mom I did some reading with Jordan but he also had a book that he wanted to read to me and I literally paused him or stopped him in his tracks and I said I need you to go ahead and read that back to me or show me what that just said so I can write it down because it was so powerful I'm not really sure what book it was but this is so powerful what it said in it it said, the way we view our problems oftentimes is the problem. If our perception is poor, opportunities become terrifying and invitations appear as threats. Let that sink in. Mm. But yes, the way we view our problems also, I mean, oftentimes is the problem. For real and that really tied in with what we had read in the joyce meyer the power of thank you book this is now up on my amazon storefront as well as the authentically uniquely you book that i've been talking about but it really tied in with what we were learning and what we learned this morning was really just to be positive 
and be happy even through your trials because nothing bad can happen to you that won't end up for your good, that won't work for your good. The Apostle James teaches us that we should be exceedingly joyful in our trials knowing that they will work good in us and that is James um, 1, 2 through 4. I got some powerful highlights today. No one enjoys difficulty, but the less upset we become about it, the easier it is to deal with. I have come to believe that we would have no appreciation or gratitude for life's good times if we never experienced difficulties. Never thought of it that way. Many of us are extremely grateful for all that God has done for us in Christ because we did have difficult and painful lives. It took that pain and difficulty to make us grateful and thankful for what God has done in our lives and where we are today. God has given us beauty for ashes as he promised in Isaiah 61.3. Meaning that he has taken all the ugliness we have experienced in life and created something beautiful from it. And I know that for a fact because everything that I've gone through in my life has literally only benefited me and taught me a lot. And it also taught me that, you know, one day if I do decide to have children, I got to break those cycles. Mm. I get my water in. Yes, ma'am. Drink that water. Drink that water. But like I've said this a lot of times on my channel because I experience it and literally everything bad that has happened to me in my life happened to me in my life. Jesus Christ has made it work for my good. Literally, it's wild. There is nothing bad that can happen to you that God cannot turn into something good, just as he did for Joseph. Now, Joseph had some pretty jealous brothers that sold him into slavery in Egypt. Ultimately, God moved on Joseph's behalf and he ended up second in command to Pharaoh. God provided him with the wisdom and strategy to store vast supplies of grain in Egypt. And when famine struck Egypt and the surrounding nations, people came to him for grain. His brothers, those jealous brothers, traveled to Egypt looking for food. They didn't recognize him when they seen him. But once he revealed himself to them, they were terrified at his presence. It is so wild because literally the people that have been treated the worst in this world, the Lord blesses them abundantly because he sees what you're going through. He sees what you have been through. And if you give him your life, he's gonna make all that work for your good. Now, I want you guys to listen to this. Author and coach Mark Sharanoff had a conversation with his wise 70 year old father about life and growing through adversity. And this is what he said about it. One of the last things his dad said before he got off the phone resonated so much with him that he had to write it down. This is what his dad said and it, 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 it caught me. It caught me. It's been my experience, his dad said, that most people aren't truly happy until they've had reasons to be sad. Oh my gosh, you can't tell me that ain't the truth. You can't tell me that ain't the truth. My whole entire life, I had so many reasons to be sad. Life was dark. We had no dang money. My dad was addicted to drugs. I was so insecure and I thought every girl was better than me and every girl was prettier than me. It just was just like nothing was looking up for us. We end up having no car, no washer, no dryer, no nothing. And that right there has made me so grateful and happy how I am today because I know how it can be and I know what I come from. His dad said, I believe this is because it takes all of those bad days and hardships to teach us how to truly appreciate what we have and it builds our resilience. Amen, amen. Last highlight I'm gonna go ahead and share and then we're gonna go ahead and hop right into today and our plans for today, even though I don't really have much, but hey. But our stories are still being written. So even if you don't like the first few chapters of yours, remember that your life isn't over yet. The ending is always the best part and it will end well. You can begin thanking God now for all the things that will show up in your future because God's good plans have already been de decreed for you and his word. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in a future. All right now. Powerful, powerful, powerful. My morning time always gets me right to get off to my day. Yes, ma'am. And incorporating these books has seriously changed my whole entire like morning encouragement like routine. Like it's just so much fun. It's really so much fun. But anyway, <clears throat> Yes, today I'm gonna to be going into my day with the I can attitude. My mouth is so dry, you guys. Every single time I talk for a while, my mouth becomes so dry. Um, anyway, let me stop rambling. So, today I'm gonna to be going into my day. Okay, that was very fast. Today I'm gonna to be going into my day with the I can attitude. I can get this closet done, but first I have to go ahead and get these dishes done. I should've got them done last night, but I was just too tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the dishes done first and straighten up my kitchen a little bit and then get my closet done. And then my hair, y'all, my hair needs to be washed so bad. It is so tangled up back here, y'all. It is natted the heck up. Hmm, Jordan's so sweet. He just texted me and said, um, let me know if you need any help today. Anyway, so it's almost like he knew that I'm cleaning my closet today. 
Y'all know Target is my store and I never really go to Walmarts and stuff like that. But today I want to go to a Walmart because I want to find a good blender for like not too high of a price. My blender was cheap. It was $30. It gets the job done. I make my coffee in it every single morning. Yes, I do blend my coffee. Um, and I also make my smoothies. But mm, I noticed that there's too much in there. It doesn't really work that good. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find a really good blender today for my smoothies and also for my coffee. And we'll see what else I get in there. With all of that being said... Let me go ahead and get my dang day started. I can sit here all day and be like, okay, so I got to get this done. I'm going to get this done. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just text for a little while, just for a little while. Wake up. I mean, look up, and it's 45 minutes later. Let's get it. All right, first things first is the kitchen. But let me show you all these beautiful flowers that Jordan dropped off to my door yesterday. He just rung my doorbell and left and just left these there. It was so cute. Like, these are so adorable. They're so pretty. And that's what I love about them is, like, they're so pretty it's a variety of different beautiful flowers and i'm so grateful it's so cute i thought the cutest thing about it was that he just left them there i can't stand when somebody want to drop something off they just randomly want to bring something by they want you to come in i mean they want you to let me in and hold a conversation I'm like listen i'm so grateful but 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 i didn't ask you i'm sorry that sounds so bad but i'm just telling the truth like i do not like random stop bys like don't just randomly stop by my home maybe i'm being rude but i was so grateful it's so cute i heard my little ring door but i looked out there i was like no way yeah so cute but anyway here goes the dishes that I need to go ahead and get done um I need to go ahead and clean out the stove a little bit and then maybe sweep a little bit and I should be done this isn't bad at all I can knock this out of the park it's the whole folding clothes organizing all of that stuff it takes like an hour and it's just like ugh. but maybe if I say that I can do it I can do it no lie you guys i am so upset right now but i'm not gonna let it control me and i'm not gonna let it ruin my whole entire day i literally almost just threw this this whole entire video into the trash what i have been filming all morning i am so upset right now you guys i just got done filming me rinsing off all of my dishes and putting them all away i repositioned the camera and the camera turned black and it said that my videos the video that i was taking of me rinsing off my dishes and putting them away it was deleted so there's no recovery for this and i'm very 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 upset because that was a part of my video obviously me doing the dishes and then rinsing them off drying them off and then putting them all away i am so glad that i read my joyce meyer book this morning because she was saying how you know things do happen in life we're gonna go through things stuff comes out of nowhere sometimes unexpected things but it's all about staying positive and pushing forward and staying positive in that trial or in that test or in that hard time and it can come deceiving kind of like this the lord can test us kind of like this and if we don't recognize it we'll fail that test until we pass it because you never fail test with god you keep getting handed that test until you pass it what i meant by deceiving is not saying that the lord deceives us 
I think I might have even used the wrong word. But what I meant was when the test comes, looking at it from the worldly perspective, that's not a test. That's just something that happened and it's just, oh, well. But for us, it'll come in little ways like that. The Lord knows what we need in this life. And I know that I need to calm down and not take things so serious when a clip gets deleted or something gets messed up while editing. And I do. So a test will come like that to where it doesn't look like something super, super, super big or, hey, it's a test. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be something that you have to catch and recognize. And the only reason and the only way that we can stay on guard with recognizing those tests is if we stay fed with the word of God and we stay connected to him. So by deceiving in no way, shape or form did I mean the Lord is deceiving with the test. And to be honest, I believe I use the wrong word. I'm trying to calm down, you guys. This is the type of stuff that really irks me, but it'll come like this. Tests will come like this to where you think they're not a test, but they really are, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to stay positive. Matter of fact, Jordan was just reading me a book this morning, and this guy had written, I forgot what it was, but it took him years to write I forgot what it was, but then somebody burned it on accident thinking that it was supposed to be used for the fire. And he became super depressed, went into his room, closed the blinds. It would not come out the house because he was so upset and he was so depressed. Well, he opened up his blinds and seen a guy building up a brick wall brick by brick. And he said, you know what? If he can build that wall up brick by brick, then I can rewrite my, I forgot what it was. And it took him two years to do it, but he did it. And it became very successful. So I'm not gonna let this, affect me it's okay we just didn't get the clip of me rinsing off the dishes and putting them in there it doesn't seem like a big deal but it's a big deal to me we're just gonna continue on with our day positively continue on cleaning let's go video then you know that I went ahead and went to Bath and Body Works and I bought some super cute like little plugins for my home which I love the smell of I got them all in like vanilla and patchouli and then I have a super cute like little golden pineapple over here because my theme in my living room is mostly gold uh yes anyway I bought this fresh cut lilacs one because it was super strong now I'm not the biggest fan of like floral scents but this just smells super strong and like fresh so I'm gonna go ahead and use this in my kitchen but yes ma'am I am so proud of myself and I'm also super proud of myself for not getting mad about the whole clip getting deleted because um I know that things that irritate me may not irritate other people but that was something that really just picked my nerves for real and I know that it was meant to happen especially with what I was reading this morning I know that it was meant to happen it just really sucks it's definitely a bummer but let's go ahead and spray this one two three four really all you need is like one or two sprays but y'all know i overdo everything and that smells so good Ooh, lord knows the cleaning process is so annoying but the actual results always make me super happy anyway now let me go ahead and unplug this ring light bring it over there and we got to go ahead and get started on this closet but y'all i have so many random things in this dang closet y'all see i have cords i have a box with like my probiotics in it broken hangers a lot of different clothes pillowcases up there that are clean but i just throw them up there i'm gonna go ahead and fold those today make it look so much more nice and then i need to bring my little ladder in here so i can put clothes up there matter of fact i'm gonna do that for the first time today this little mini ladder thing that i got from target really comes in handy because y'all know i'm super short so this thing really 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 comes in handy man i tell y'all what that bath and body work spray is super strong but is it bad to say that i am kind of disappointed in myself that i never used that top shelf like Use what you paying rent for, girl. What the heck? I'm gonna use every little crevice and crack of this dang crib. They up in the rent too this year. Every single year the rent go up, but this year is going up like crazy because we have new management. I'm like, can I just get a break? 
your girl just grateful that I can even pay my bills, okay? Because bills was my biggest stressor growing up. I was always running and behind people, like turn off the water, close the refrigerator, get out the shower because the bills really stressed me out as a little girl. I hated bills. I knew we didn't barely have no money, so I'm like, what are we gonna do? But the Lord has been working in my life throughout my whole entire life. Um, and he has blessed me so where I can pay my bills without a problem. But let's get this dang closet started, y'all. I ain't even gonna ramble. I just gotta get all this dang junk tackled and I'm gonna feel so good about myself. And I don't know what it is about opening up my windows when I have to get things done and I wanna be productive. Even though it's not sunny outside today, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these windows a little bit so I can have some sunlight. Man, the Lord knew what he was doing with the sunlight and the light because when I tell y'all it does, motivate you it does especially when it's sunny but you guys know really quickly i was gonna go ahead and start in my closet i need to stop rambling seriously but you guys know how i feel about this dang cold michigan weather all the dang time it's so bipolar it's so annoying Ugh, and i love the sun you guys know how i feel when the sun comes out when it's a beautiful day but i was reading today in the joyce meyer book um i guess i'll just sum it up she was basically saying like these last couple days she had rainy days it was gloomy and that's what's gonna make her thankful for when the sun comes out if i lived somewhere that was sunny all the time i would not be grateful for the sun but since we be having these little ugly little gloomy days it makes me grateful for the sun like i'm just learning so much and it's just great to like have self-improvement and get wiser i love it i love growth i love seeing growth i've been looking back at my videos like girl i don't really agree with that no more but hey do your thing <laughs> you feel me now let's get started progress we love progress but it is just coming out to be so much more work than i expected i have taken everything down from there put it down here i'm gonna go ahead and fold well refold all of those i have some hangers up here i moved these over here i had pillows in here a lot of random stuff that i had to go ahead and get out of here but this is what we are working with right now a lot more space that huge pile is down by a lot yes ma'am these have to be hung up these are already folded those two piles have to be hung up those are already folded now i just need to keep persevering and getting all of these clothes finished you guys i'm out of breath i'm feeling lightheaded I still need to get in the shower. I still need to wash my face. <sighs> as soon as I get done getting out of the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and call Jordan or text him and ask him if he wants to go get something to eat with me because your girl's head is light, okay? It, I'm lightheaded. I'm so dang lightheaded, I just said your girl's head is light. It don't even make sense. So anyway, let's get back to the work. <laughs> Another hanger! 
Gosh, I need these. All right, girl. So if I'm being completely honest, I'm actually starting to have a good time because I'm getting down to the last amount of clothes and I'm finding brand new clothes that I never wore or clothes that I've been looking for for forever. And I finally get to wear them again. Like I'm honestly getting super excited. And I actually called Jordan and he's leaving the gym and he said, I can bring you some food. I was like, no, you ain't bring me no food. I'm gonna get it when I get to uh, go to Walmart. But he insisted. So he's bringing me some McDonald's right now. That was my food of choice. Honestly, that's bad. But you know, your girl gotta do what she gotta do. I want chicken nuggets right now. So I'm gonna give me some chicken nuggets. Yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna continue on with the whole folding until he gets here. Take a break, eat, and get back at it, then get in the shower. Jordan knows me so well. He was like, I know this is taking forever. He said, but when you get done with this, you're going to feel so amazing. I was like, I know. That's why I'm doing it. But this is what everything is looking like right now. A complete, a complete mess, y'all. But it's going to get better. It's going to get better. I have these last little clothes to go ahead and fold. I got to go ahead and hang up all those clothes if I even have enough hangers. Mm, 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 this is so amazing mcdonald's is so good when you don't eat it that much mcdonald's is so good when you don't eat it that much y'all this is slapping all right so this is i believe gonna be like the last update until i get it completely done but the floor we can see it now we can see it now we have progress okay we have tons of clothes folded and just laying here so i can go ahead and hang them up laundry dirty laundry shall i say and then like some things that i need to go ahead and throw away i am honestly super happy right now though because i'm finding so many of my clothes that i've seriously been looking for but as of right now i'm gonna get my little ladder and i'm gonna go ahead and start putting clothes up there on that shelf now I've came to the conclusion that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the clothes that I rarely wear and I know that I'm not gonna reach for like that up there because I won't have to keep going up there the rest of them I'll go ahead and put on the shelves and go ahead and hang them up but this is what it's looking like you guys I feel so much better eating and drinking a ton more water now let's get it gosh the exhaustion is so real you guys that closet took me nearly three hours i am completely sweated out i need to go ahead and get my butt up in the shower i'm tired that literally took so much work and i got a lot of it done off of camera but i just finally completed the closet but i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm so exhausted right now that i am not even gonna be able to wash my hair y'all i'm gonna go ahead and wash it maybe in my next video that would actually be a great idea because i'm not gonna hold you sis i literally go back and watch my wash 
washing hair clips in my vlogs or in my hygiene videos to motivate myself to clean or wash my hair so it's always great when i get to upload a new washing hair scene because it's like a newer more updated one to watch that's weird but i motivate myself sometimes for real anyway girl i'm so hot right now i don't even know how i'm talking right now this is absolutely crazy let me show you guys the closet and i'm getting ready to go ahead and take the quickest rinse off i've probably ever taken in life like i don't even want to be in the shower for that long i just want to go ahead clean my body smell nice put some nice like oh she was looking at let me put some nice little comfortable clothes on it's so hilarious because i set out this cute little outfit i'm like i'm about to go ahead and wear this girl bye i'm so tired i can't i can't so what I'm probably going to have to do is put some um, dry shampoo in, girl. That's so de Janeiro junk be working so nice. Every time I use it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is the bomb.com. It will seriously absorb all that little hair oil and have your scalp smelling amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in. My hair really needs to be washed, you guys. I need to go ahead and like detangle it and get it all moisturized. But I will get to it, y'all. I will get to it. I need to go ahead and get my butt in the shower. But let me show y'all my completed closet. Here we are. And when I tell you guys, I am so proud of myself. This took so much work, but it looks absolutely amazing and it's gonna be so much easier to find my clothes you guys now Like I'm so excited like I already know it's probably gonna get back dirty in like a month or two And I have to redo this again, but for the time being I am so happy about this you guys It feels so amazing up there. I have like some random stuff some brand new swimsuits and bras that I have to get to and stuff But oh my god I'm so proud of myself, you guys. It feels amazing. Like, I could literally sit in here and eat a whole entire pizza. Wait, what is that down there? Oh, it's a sock. Also, all of this right here is, like, socks, bras, underwear, stuff like that. So, what I need to go ahead and do is get another one of those and put it, like, next to it so I can have more space so it doesn't look so raggedy. Thank the Lord for dry shampoo because now I don't feel bad about not washing my hair, y'all. Thank the Lord for that. I always go ahead. Oh, ain't no light. What the heck? I always go ahead, turn off the light. Even though I've only cleaned this closet, like, three or four times, but every single time that I do, I spray it really good and then I clean close it and it just smells so amazing in there that might have been a little too much spray but y'all know your girl be overdoing stuff okay that's just what i be doing all i know is i'm gonna get my butt up in the shower clean the parts that need to be clean and get the heck out y'all know them rinse off showers you just clean your armpits your behind your front part and get the heck up out of there y'all quickly go over your skin it don't take much of time at all and you get the heck out you feel clean you still smell nice but it's just quick fast yes ma'am i have this huge sweatshirt from h&m it says boston massachusetts sits on it and then I have some super cute little pajama pants from Victoria's Secret that I got on sale around Christmas but these past couple days I have been mixing this Dove Body Love Age Embrace Body Cleanser with my Whey Body Cleanser from Ulta and when I tell you guys this mixture is so beautiful this is like a pretty floral and this right here is like a creamy coconutty vanilla this body wash honestly smells super similar and yes I pulled out my Walmart uh, knockoff Jergens because Jergens just got recalled okay and I still want to have my little cherry almond scent. Okay. But it smells super similar to this Alien by Terry Mugler Goddess Perfume. This is like a creamy, vanilla, tiny bit of coconut. It does smell similar to this. And I love that kind of smell. But I'm going to go ahead and wear my Terry Mugler Alien Goddess with my Replica Beach Walk. This is more of like a breezy sunscreen kind of smell and then this is like a creamy vanilla type coconut so they definitely go together but i had got this little lotion for two dollars on sale at a uh, walmart and this junk smells just like jergens when i tell y'all save your coins yes ma'am i'm about to go ahead and put on my dry shampoo and also go ahead and put my perfume on Whew, that sweatshirt had to come off y'all i was so hot my dang face was cherry dang red my goodness i cannot stand being high it's like one of the worst feelings Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, I'm just going ahead and putting like a little bit of this dry shampoo in. Y'all, my hair is in need of some love. Like seriously, look at it. Like your girl needs to go ahead and take care of this dang hair. It's not even that my hair like smells bad. It's just that it has like some dry patches and it just needs to be like having some pampering time and like a hair mask put in it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do when I go ahead and wash it. But oh my gosh, this is a mess. Anyway, you let that dry shampoo sit in your hair for 30 seconds and then you go ahead and massage it all around. I'm just gonna go for a super messy look today because since I'm already in light little pajama clothes, I can just go for like the complete messy look. It never hurt nobody. Yes, ma'am. And I don't really like the messy look most of the time because it looks like I didn't really try even though I did put like a little bit of effort into it. I don't really know. That sounded confusing. Okay, so for my messy looks, I always pull out um, hair on the sides. I always pull them out in the back. I just run my finger across and then like pull it out. So I have hairs back here. And then I lift my hair up like this. I get a scrunchie and I just like go like that. Sometimes a bun, sometimes just like a ponytail like that. And I just kind of let it be messy. Oh, I just burped. Whew. 
be messy just like this. And I love it. I really do. If I'm being completely honest, I do prefer messy looks on myself than like the slick looks. And I know that I cannot be the only one. I just feel like the super slick looks don't look right on me. Maybe I'm tripping, but it's just my little preference or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my body up with this perfume. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all can't say I ain't put y'all on to mixing y'all perfumes. Now, my mama put me on to this just because she does not like anybody to smell like her. So if you ask her what she got on, she gonna name like three, four different perfumes. My mom is like one of a kind. She really just does her own thing. She ain't worried about looking like nobody else, dressing like nobody else, smelling like nobody else, doing what nobody else does. My mom has just strictly always been herself no matter what. And that is something that I've honestly always admired about her because she seriously does not give a crap. She gonna be her all day and that is one thing I can depend on with my mama is she gonna be her all day and day. Ooh, I don't like that. Ah, oh my gosh, I should have got the regular that size. That aftertaste is hitting. Why did I buy a large? We're up in here, Red. I just bought a, what do they call it? A recharge lemonade. They have caffeine in these lemonades, y'all, because I'm so tired, it doesn't even make any sense. <clears throat> this is absolutely disgusting. I can't taste nothing but nastiness. Why does it I taste bet. like coffee though? Coffee and lemonade. Like why does it? Like taste it again. You don't even drink coffee, so you honestly wouldn't even know, but <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> but yeah, that's not it. I don't want to. Wow, taste that if it had sugar in it, it would be a little bit better. And if you added like some flavoring. I'm gonna go home and tweak it because I'm gonna spend my money. I'm gonna use my money. <laughs> Playing with me. Child. Anyway, we are at Panera. We are waiting for our food. I ordered a avocado turkey BLT. What? What? You just rolled on the. You were acting like you were about to roll on the window, so I thought she was coming out. Oh no! I just put my finger right here. Oh, anyway, so we're at Panera Bread, so I can go ahead and eat some food before I go to Walmart. And then when we leave Walmart, I can just head straight home. And I'm probably gonna go to bed early tonight because I'm so, 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 so tired. She just dropped me off at my door, and I'm going to bed. I'm not even joking. Like I'm so tired, it doesn't even make any sense. Like I don't even know why I'm so tired. I didn't get like too too much sleep last night so that could be why uh, i better put some little fruit in here like the little dry fruit it, it looks so cute this is solo cup <laughs> what's that song this thing make my breast stink <clears throat> it's like old cows all these pickup spots right we, hey, stop, 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 girl stop, stop, stop your stop, car stop, stop. Well, i gotta jump out this mother trucker i'm not about to put this that's why i had to speed up it went down in this parking lot. Mm -hmm. Talk about something. Yeah. I don't My know. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you one of them TikTok girls that if you hear her car or break her hubcap, she'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is that? <laughs> didn't even know it. You got the same sandwich as me. Yeah, I did. You copycat. I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> Every single time you go to a restaurant, he always buys something nasty, and he always mm -hmm. wants what I have. No, it's true. And then you. Oh, nasty. You. You've been like this before. Oh. And then you always want to have what I have. So I told him, anytime we go somewhere, you don't know what you want, get what I get. Uh. Y'all can't tell me this dang sandwich don't look good, y'all. Y'all can't tell me this cold, nice turkey, avocado, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich don't look amazing. <clears throat> I don't even like lettuce. This is like the only lettuce I'll ever eat. It's like the more expensive lettuce. The darker the lettuce, the better. I would not eat any light lettuce, any Taco Bell lettuce, any McDonald's lettuce, any of that junk. I will only eat expensive lettuce. This is about to bang. Mmm! Mmm, 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 It's so fresh, so good. I don't know which one I want to grab. So fresh, so good! They just need some mustard and some accent seasoning. That's about it. It'd be good. So fresh and so clean. Go ahead. <laughs> Woo wee! Mm. It's making you mad. Just so we know whose leftovers are whose, I'm gonna tie a mask around my sandwich. Oops. Uh. Oops, excuse me. This one's mine, okay? Oh, I masked some napkins to my sandwich.
are so cute, Jordan. You're recording? Uh, you just crashed. I so did, but I got insurance, <laughs> so. Y'all, we just came into Walmart and I literally walked in and I already have three freaking things in my hand. They have super cute shorts. Look at these little New York shorts. So adorable. This is honestly my favorite color right now, which is wild. Mm -hmm. And then these are gonna be for the beach. These are gonna be so cute. Okay, so I got these. Let me show you. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, Walmart is coming in clutch. This is the top and these are the bottoms. And the bottoms have like a skirt and shorts inside of it. And this is the I top. I did not see that, that, that it has so shorts inside, shorts inside, of, it inside of it And then the top is literally tied together like a little bow. Yeah, that's I cannot believe dope. this right now. This is wild. How much are they? One second. Is that 18 then? 18.98. That's not that bad. Oh my gosh. I mean, they are taxing a little bit for it because it is Walmart. But this is pretty high quality. Look, Jordan. Then I got this like um, orangish one. And like, this is adorable. Whoa. Yeah, that was wild. That was pretty screwy. Man, you just chill in there on the beach or something with a sun hat on. And just right, sun hat, on. sunglasses, yeah, nice exactly. little flip-flops, beach bag, yes. That's exactly. Awesome. And then look at these. These are super cute as well. I love this color. This is so cute. I'm going to go ahead and get these in a size small. Y'all cannot tell me these are not cute. And they're $14.98. Dude, where are these in men's? I would rock these. Right. <laughs> Walmart has always had actually pretty cute swimsuits, so that's not really a surprise to me because they usually do have super cute swimsuits. But the clothes, they usually never do. So that was actually super cool finding those two things, or those three things. Look what I got. I got me a purse. That looks so nice. It looks like. You think so? I feel like you're lying. That's oh. not true, because it looks very comfortable. I'm spending unnecessary Wait, can money. I touch it? Hmm? Yeah, you can touch it. It's super soft. It's only $10, though. It's super cute. I, um, I'm definitely spending like unnecessary money, but this is super cute, and it's only $10, and I feel like I can style it so well. These are adorable. Why do I want these for myself? No one dang well, these are for kids. <laughs> hey, I really like hey, those like colors. That sometimes, though. I'm gonna buy this actually because I really do want it. It's super cute. What you gonna do with it? Eat with it. Even though they're like little mini cups and little mini bowls. Mm -hmm. I guess I really don't need it. I'm doing too much. It's because I haven't been in Walmart in a while. We mm -hmm. walked in and out the other day. Oh, they got water bottles. I did not know that Yankee Candle had concentrated room sprays, you guys. I just bought some from Bath & Body Works, which I know are probably gonna be like way better, but it doesn't hurt to have like cheaper ones. These ones are $5.27. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Coconut Beach, the Pink Sands. Off of camera, I went ahead and grabbed these wax melts, these Walking on Sunshine wax melts. They smell so amazing. I need to stop. I need to get the heck up out of here. Let's go get these dang, or go look at the blenders and get the heck up out of here. Cotton Candy Cloud. Let me smell that even though I know I'm not gonna like it I just want to see what they I want to see what they talking about it, just looks, it, it looks so pretty let me see oh my gosh it smells like my childhood what? why does this smell like my childhood I wouldn't really? even use it because it's not something that I would want in my house but it's like I have like some body care items that smell like this grown up y'all know like the little strawberry shortcake or like Minnie Mouse body sprays we used to get when we were younger <laughs> This smells like one of them. Oh my gosh. And look how cute it is. It says, give me some sugar on it. Jordan, seriously, you always uh, handed me stuff to buy. You always handed me stuff because you want me to spend my money. That's what you no, want me to do. That is I, the truth. I, was, I let you smell this. I didn't hand it to you and say, buy this. <laughs> I, I let you smell it. Then you talking about some. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> How about this? I'll, I won't get the big pack. I'll get the small pack, you guys. I am not a big fan of cucumber melon on my body in any way, shape, or form. Not anymore, at least. But this smells just like the Bath & Body Works cucumber and melon, but it's in a wax melt, so it smells super fresh for the house. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> they have so many ones that I wanna buy. I'm gonna have to come here another day and buy them because not today, girl, not today. And we got my blender, yes ma'am. This one's honestly pretty affordable and it's also super cute. It looks 10 times better than the one that I have. This is glass instead of plastic and it's way bigger as well. And then it even comes with a little cup jar thingy for only $44.97 and I bought my other one for 30. Oh my gosh, oh, you put top. this over your stuff when you put it in the microwave? I actually, have to get you this. you actually do need that. Yeah, I do. Sure. My microwave keeps getting nasty because I never have anything to cover it up. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all look at this him. I was just about to walk out, y'all, and look at this outfit. This looked like Easter Sunday outfit. This is so cute. It's probably why they're setting all these little outfits out. Look at the top. The top is super cute. It has like a little opening right here. And then it just has like a super long, cute skirt with little frillies at the bottom. And it has a little cut right here. Y'all, these outfits are so adorable. Like I'm so proud of Walmart right now. I can't even believe this. I'm not proud that I gotta spend some money, but I'm proud that they got some clothes up in here. I didn't even get everything. $150 here, $150 there, $150 everywhere. Money, money here, money there. Good morning, everyone. It is the next morning. It is 7.06. I am up right now making my morning coffee. I love hearing the birds chirp. Like, 
that's one of my favorite parts about the morning is hearing them chirp like you guys are so cute right now i'm making my morning coffee i honestly i already made it but i might have to show you guys in my next video how i make it because i know you guys are going to want to see it but you guys are going to hammer me for how i make my coffee you guys are going to be like that is so unhealthy like who does that um that's a bug oh my gosh it's moving it's moving it's in action Where did it just go? Okay, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna ruin my morning. You ain't gonna ruin my morning. I hope you ain't in my paper towel. I really hope. I really hope. Is that bug carcass? It's over. Good morning, y'all. I'm making my coffee right now. I'm about to get to work. That literally just woke me up. Like, thank you, Lord. Matter of fact, because that just woke me up for real. Anyway, you guys are gonna hammer me for how I make my dang coffee. I do make it in a blender. I didn't even feel like getting that dang blender out this morning because I'm so tired. But even my mom last night kind of like went off of me a little bit for not eating healthy. She was like, are you eating healthy? I was like, yeah, like somewhat. She was like, yeah. Look, I get it. But like if anybody like wants to get me a chef, like I'm not ever saying no. So technically it's not really my fault. I'm just joking. <laughs> Y'all need to let me know if you guys want me to show you guys how I make my coffee because it is pretty darn unhealthy. But when I threw up my coffee, so I don't know about y'all, but like in my family, anytime any of me and my or my siblings or like my parents threw up something, they didn't want to eat it ever again or taste it ever again. So I threw up my coffee one morning and I never wanted to taste it again. So I tried to make like shaken coffee. I tried so many different things until I finally got to the blender hack and I added like more sugars and some, but it's so good. And it's like the only way that I can really drink my coffee <laughs> enjoyably. If that's even a word. Anyway, sis, it's time for your girl to go ahead and hop into work. I got my coffee. Yes, ma'am. I got my laptop. Yes, ma'am. Y'all see me in my office again. Y'all know when it's dirty. I don't really be in here like that. I just do not like being in like a dirty area, especially when I'm trying to work and focus. Girl, no, I just can't do it. So I got it all clean up in here. I need to keep it clean so I can be in here more. But it's so nice to be able to be in here and sit down and relax. I love having my morning coffee. I haven't even had my first sip. Like, come on now, girl. Oh my gosh, like it tastes so much better than, so much better than like any Starbucks, any expensive coffees, any Frappuccinos. Oh my gosh, that's so fire. I can't even deal. I love it. I bought my mama Keurig like a couple months ago and she was just telling me yesterday how grateful she is for it. Well, she tells me every single morning. I'm not even going to lie. I call my mom every single morning and she tells me every single morning just how grateful she is for her coffee. Or her Keurig. And it's a cute little pink one. And then she's always like, I can't wait to make my coffee. I can't wait. It's like the highlight of my morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, finally you understand. Because my mom was like never a coffee drinker until I put her on to coffee because it's natural, it's a more healthier route, as opposed to like the um, energy drinks, which are man-made, go ahead and have you some coffee. Honor your mother and your father. I know that everybody's story is not the same. I know that some people have seriously been tormented and abused by their parents, and I understand that. The best thing you can do is forgive, only because it's gonna help you. Not forgiving people is only gonna make you bitter. It's only gonna make you upset and unhappy. I used to not listen to people that used to say that. I used to be like, girl, you don't even know what you're talking about. Like, shut up, that's not true. Like, if I forgave them, it'll be worse. Then they're gonna think that that's okay what they did. No, you ain't even gonna tell them that you forgave them. You can just forgive them in your heart and not hold on to that bitterness. Trust me, I have a very hard time to this day feeling like I forgave somebody one day and then the next day I kind of feel a little different but I have to stand on what I said that I would do which is forgive because it only affects me I only do it for myself anyway honey your mother and your father y'all that is a very big deal um especially to the Lord but I love every single one of you guys God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ and it's time for you girls to go